I'm standing here with the living legend, Tom Platts. Tom, first of all, I can't believe you're 61 years old because that means we're all getting very old. Well, you know, everybody I'm seeing, everybody looks so different. I saw ECU and I saw uh, Jim and I saw Steve, you know, I'm like, I'm like Steve, I, I look familiar. I'm like, oh my God, it looks so different, you know, and yeah. I forget that it's been 40, 40 oh, years. Long you know? time. Yeah. But, you know, it's when like... When was the last time you went to the Olympia? Uh, I was here about three years ago. Oh, okay. Basically, Tom, um, 61 years old your wife who we just saw here both of you are over 60 and you guys look like you're the, the fountain of youth well it's like you know when you get to be my age and our our age Charles is older than me she mo she monitors the brand the brand sort of has a new life right. the average 20 or 30 year old wasn't around Hi, Dave. Hey, what's up? I don't, you probably don't remember me, but I remember you. Yes. I used to compete in New Jersey Team Universe. I'm on that oh. show. Oh. And I'll talk to you once right. in a while. Let, let me finish the interview with Tom. Yes, absolutely. This is like a destroyed interview. This is the way it is, you yeah. know. But, uh, you know, I, I, I like being 61. I do. Right, but you, you and Cha, though, live a very healthy lifestyle. I know you live. Tell us a little bit about the foods you eat well, and how you live. It's the opposite of what bodybuilders do. Right. I, I believe that you have to have butter every day. Butter is like magic. Why okay. is butter magic? The joints, the skin, the hair. The fats. Uh, you know, co coconut oil we put on our hair and our skin. We make our own toothpaste. We make our own deodorant. We don't use traditional detergents. But most of the things that is what, what a bodybuilder considers a clean diet, I consider void of certain nutrients. Okay, and that's the way I look at it. Don't this you time. eat raw foods too? Raw food, sure, sure. We, we eat everything. Cha told me you guys eat raw chicken, even. Yeah, right? sometimes, sometimes, yeah. yeah. Not all the time. But right. We do like raw food, but I, I find, you know, I still have a day where I have a pizza and a beer once a week. Oh, you know, that's I mean, that's good. still okay. in there. Cheat meal. I'm not a purist. I mean, you got to give your body something to do, but uh, for the most part, it's uh, I think special attention to not the clean lifestyle I used to have as far as. You know, asparagus and chicken breasts, that's right. it. Sure. It's more more of a the healthy fats. And the fats to me are very important. I think we forgot about that. Well, you're talking to the, the fat king here because I'm a big believer in essential yeah. fats too. I believe in keeping carbohydrate intake lower, keep very blood important. sugar under control. And yes. even I think when we get to our, you know, our older age, I think even protein intake doesn't have to be quite as high as no. what we were body. I, I think I'm, that's one of the things. Too much protein at age 60 is not a good idea. Very acidic to the body. Yes, exactly. So I find I have you know my eggs in the afternoon. I have my meat at night. And maybe one other little bit of protein. I do right. fine. How many meals do you eat a day? Uh, about four or five. Okay. But they're small, right. not very large. Right. Um, I mean, you know, I don't, I don't want to go back to what I did when I was 23. No, no. But it's fun to pull the car out of the garage and start the engine a little bit, put it back in the garage. About all I do is. Are you still squatting? Oh yeah. What's the squat at? A 315 for 15. You still can do that? How do your joints handle it? I have to, my joints are fine. My, my back's a little issue occasionally, but I'll, I'll rest up for a while and come right back to it. You know. That's insane. Put 315 on your back and getting 15 perfect pure reps. I don't know how you do it? I, I couldn't do it anymore. I mean, you got back in the day though, 315 was like 50, 60 reps. You know. Right. Right. When you so, look back at it now and you say to yourself. How was I squatting all that weight? What was I, nuts? It's hard to believe. I go, my God. It was, it's, it, you know, it was like, I still work with guys that are trying to do it as well. And, and they, they bring up these videos and YouTube stuff. And I, I remember doing it. I remember doing, you know, 535 for 23. On, right, when, you, when you did squat off against Hatfield, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. But uh, it's, I, I know I did it. I can remember doing it. But in fact, the 315 for 15 is more important now than that was. Well, you know? it's like at 61, if you could, I don't, you might be the only man who could do that at 61. I don't think anyone else 60 plus can do that much weight. I mean, I don't just do it on cold. You go I, all the way to the ground too, right? But I, war, I, I warm up with it, you know. Right. I, it takes me maybe uh, four or five months to get there. But I'll start with, you know, two and a quarter and go my way up. Even a lot of stretching? Stretching only before, not after. Not after, why is that? I think the, I think the muscle's too full and too engorged with blood. I think stretching can be detrimental to the joints right. and the tendons and the ligaments. I find beforehand it's very beneficial, not aggressive PNF, right, right. but just enough to warm your brain up, warm your mind up, look at the squat bar and sort of think about what you intend to do. It's and a lot scarier when you're, when you're older to do that kind of way. I tell you, one, one yeah it is. Because when you're young, you're, you're fearless. That's true, that's true. But you know, I gotta tell you, people think that I was never scared of the squat. Every workout, I'm scared shitless, you know what I mean? But you know what, that's why we never got hurt during the workouts, because you were so attentive. We all, you get hurt when you're not paying attention. But you know, exactly, you get hurt when you're not paying attention. But I, it's not that I like squatting that much, it's just that I like the feeling, I'm addicted to the feeling afterwards. Challenge. 
when you're done squatting, you get in the car, you go, I can do anything. Right, right. Anything. If right. I can do that, I can do anything. Right. Everything else is easy. Talk to me about all the clothing you saw. This is some great well, stuff you got here. Artemis, Very vintage looking. Artemis came to me. The whole idea is vintage, playing on the golden era. Right. I mean, we had no idea it was the golden era back then. But, sure. You know, I, I, I agreed to lend my name. Um, Shaw handles the brand, as you know. She's great at that. She doesn't handle the man. You know, I, I, she handles the brand. The brand. Uh, yeah, I, I let you take care of it. You uh, do it. It's harder to do that when you get older. Yeah. When I was marketing myself in the 80s, right. all the promoters were fans. Of course. Well, you say my fee is, I'll see you there. Look great right, forward. Right, right, easy. Nowadays, she handles all the business. So what, I do other what's things. the whole theme behind this? Well, the golden era. Golden Aesthetics is the company. Yeah. He, Artemis came to me and said, you know, I have an idea for a t-shirt. I'm thinking, yeah, how much Another money do you make from yeah. a t-shirt? Right. Fine. Use my name. Okay, give me, send me whatever present, whatever. Right, right, right. And then that first month, he did, did like 80,000 t-shirts. I'm like, oh my You sold 80,000 t-shirts? I mean, I'm like, I can't believe this guy. Who's buying all these shirts? Over the world. People, he, wow. can't, he can't make enough of them. So every month is a different thing. You know, Where do people shorts. buy these? At all, over, all over Europe, primarily so, in Europe. What about, do you have a website we can order from? Uh, GoldenAesthetics.com. It's GoldenAesthetics.com. It's his website. Okay. Uh, but I would go to GoldenAesthetics.com. Okay. And he has the complete line there. Of course, Danny Padilla does it. He does it with us, and Samir does which, it with us. Which one do you like the best? Which shirt? Uh, I like the bright colors, you know? I like the really bright colors, like red and old, yellow. I like that old, uh, it reminds me of Dave Draper t uh, tank top, the Golden Eagle Platts. Yeah, well, you know, the Serge Nubre, those Stringer. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's real popular, you know. No I one makes those anymore. No, no, they don't. I didn't think the shorts would work. I'm like, yeah, sure. I love shorts. I'll wear girls are wearing these things on leg day. Oh, really? <laughs> okay, fine, fine, fine. You know, do, whatever. Do the people know who you are still? It shocks me. It shocks me. I spent the last two hours just shaking hands and saying hi. Right. I think that the best thing that ever happened in my life was losing the 81 Olympia. That's the best really? Oh, because it made you a hero for everyone. It's 30, Underdog. 36 years ago, or whatever it was, I can't count that far back, but people were still talking about that day. And as far as business, I'm still working because of that loss. You got past it, though. You know what? Guys like Casey Vieter, may he rest in peace, never got over that. It kind of ruined them as a person. Sometimes when you, you don't win when you should have. Sometimes when you win when you shouldn't have. Eventually, your number hits. You're kind of like you're, you take every, you find the positive in everything that happens to you. It, 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 how do you do that? You have to you have to look at the, for the, you have to look at the best things coming from it. That night, I went into the show going, okay, it's my time. 79, 78, and it's 80. I was a young pro. 81. It's time to do business and take my place. Uh, I was honored to be standing next to some of the greatest in the world. And when I didn't win, it was like I really wanted to win, but I wanted to congratulate the winner as well. But to tell you the truth, I wouldn't want the trophy for what I do have now. Right. Okay, I would. What is it? Trophy eventually goes to a trophy cabinet, then it goes to the garage, then you hang old cat tools on it. I threw my trophies out. Yeah. The the trophy, trophy, they're meaningless. It's the memories that the trophies represent. I got to tell you, it's, I've been. The money is a nice side effect to all this, but to be still working because of that loss. Of course. What a Thank gift. God, yeah. A gift, man. Now, if you had to give, I don't want to keep you here all day. We could probably talk for hours, but. One bit of advice that you can give the guys that are coming up in the bodybuilding world, tell, talk to the camera, tell these guys, what would be your number one advice uh, for us, a guy who's just starting out and wants to get into this industry? Okay. Well, in the gym, there's always five reps. Whenever you think there's not five reps left, you have five reps. When you're, when you're hurting, when you can't breathe, when you can't get up, you can get up five more times. In life, too. In fact, I always say to my guys I work with, does the gym imitate life or does life imitate the gym? There's no answer for that. No, it's a metaphor. But you, you, you've got to, for me, it's, it's that, it's that going after it and taking, not taking no for an, taking, always looking for the yes and going towards the yes. Real great okay. words, Thanks. wise words from a wise man. Thanks. Man. Great Thanks. seeing you, Tom. And Chai, great seeing you as well. You guys are the ageless wonders, I call you.